Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Sabrata Sarkar. I'm a mechanical engineer working in manufacturing industry more than 22 years. Today, I'll be discussing a subject named NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. By category, the subject comes under advanced communication. I'm not talking about the electronic communication. It comes under verbal and non-verbal communication, some advanced stages. Now, to make understand this subject, I will give some example that you may, it will be easy to understand what the subject talks about. For example, say a Hindu is programmed to believe in life after death. In the same way, a Christian or a Muslim is programmed to believe in heaven and hell, isn't it? In the same way, a terrorist is programmed to be believed in worry of killing and the same way a poor man is programmed to believe in his faith so i think so you know also neuro linguist in the same way if we give another example say a communist is programmed to rag against congress or bjp and the vice versa if we talk about the indian political context so basically, there are a lot of input actually framed inside our brain and we behave and think accordingly. So this is the area actually the subject neuro-linguistic programming is addressing. Now what does mean neuro in neuro-linguistic programming? What it stands for meaning? Neuro means basically the thinking pattern, the code experienced by your brain, your you know thinking affects the experience in your brain inside your brain and we talk about the linguistic linguistic mean using persuasive languages you know understanding the mind's language understanding the body languages etc <coughs> and programming neuro linguistic programming programming means creating and improving your thinking strategy depending on this situation and using your thought pattern to get the desired result and for you know using the scale to resolve the problems actually so neuro linguistic programming is basically ability to discover and change the way we need to communicate in order to achieve a specified outcome so depending on the situation your strategy of thinking and the you know, communication will change so that you can get the desired result. This is all about actual neuro linguistic programming. Now we all know that there are basically five sensory organ of all of ours. Number one is the eyes, that is the person that is called the visual category people, then the ear, that is those who are ear is more, you know, what is the leading. Then the auditory people and there are three more sensory organs. One is the touching, that is the tactile. One is the nose, that is the olfactory. One is the tongue, that is gastrotory. So the tactile, olfactory, gastrotory, then these three categories together are called kinesthetic and auditory by ear and visual by eyes. So either of the three actually will be your somebody's natural prefer the leading sensory actually. At any point of time, you know, people have all the you know sensation, but one one of the things either a person will be visual or an auditory or a kinesthetic, whether male or female, and whatever the level in this society actually, irrespective, people have to you know will be either of the three category. Now, if there is the the you know the purpose of learning of this subject is if you can identify some person the what is the category of the person whether is a visual person whether is an auditory person whether is a kinesthetic person then it will be easier for you to communicate with the person to get the desired result or make the good relationships actually if you don't know computer if you don't know physics and mathematics doesn't matter to life actually but if you have you know knowledge on the subject neuro linguistic programming life will be much more easier for you you know in you know practical life actually social life everywhere professional life personal life everywhere now what how we can identify the people in our uh, three categories say visual people may they prefer to see other than prefer to you know they don't prefer to you know hear actually picture is a word for them actually 
you know even say somebody is giving some lecture and they cannot you know remember all these every small small things actually instead somebody showing some picture they can get everything actually and uh, you know they are always interested on the visual things rather than the writing or something and there are typical words actually also using there are people who are you know by nature Vis uh, visual person they will be using some words like picture it appears outlook you know i observe this i notice this i watch this i want to see the overview i like to see it so these are the visual type of the words when people are using most of the time this is one of the clue that the person may be visual actually but there are other ways to cross checking actually in the same way the auditory people actually they prefer to hear you know don't prefer to so in this way you'll find the person who are auditory by nature many times you'll find that they avoid eye contact but in the same way the visual people is always keep good eye contact actually so like some in colleges or in offices somebody is giving some lecture or talks those are auditory person they can easily remember each and every word what the person is speaking they don't need to even take notes actually sometimes they also you know read something loudly so these are the feature of the auditory people and they are also using typical word like it sounds like that i hear this i mention this i encode this you should listen this you should be more vocal you what is your report you should say this so these are the you know words typical words used by the auditory people and kinesthetic people are basically they prefer to touch you know instead listen or seeing actually you'll find in many places people just to uh, talk with you or to communicate something they touch your body actually anywhere without any bad intention i'm saying because this is their category actually they prefer to touch than to speak than to hear actually so you when you find that without any reason some person is touching you but that that can be communicated without touching also so that is a very huge possibility that the person is by nature is a kind of study and there is a you know uh, typical uh, there's a training actually on this subject to get you know mastering or skill on this subject technical idea on this subject this is called neuro linguistic programming certification so also I did this uh, you know, NLP certification years back actually and it helps a lot in, you know, it's a really very very effective subject. <coughs> Other than this, these visual words and all these things, there is the eyes are very important actually and eyes are, you all know, those eyes are interconnected with our brain actually. So, there are three things. Sometimes when you talk with the person, you notice very carefully, you'll find that eyes balls are sometimes it goes both the eyeball goes left both the eyeball goes right sometimes you'll find that for some reason both the eyeball is going upward or these upward directions and sometimes you'll find that eyeballs are going bottom left or bottom right actually both the eye eyeball together actually automatically people cannot control it by that you can get a lot of other information actually the person whose eyes are going upward either in left or in the right directions this person are in a visual nature in normal way and if this you know this in left directions the person is recalling the picture at the time and if it is the right directions the person is you know creating some picture actually and picture is a language for them and for the auditory people when you'll find that both the eyes on the left side then it's recalling the sounds or the words and when they're both the right, right side, you'll find the person is you know, creating sounds actually. And for the, you know, kinesthetic people, you'll find that some people when talking with you, both the eyes on the bottom left or both the eyeballs are on the bottom right. So if it is on bottom left, then talking themselves actually. And if it is a bottom right, then the, some feeling is there inside of them actually. That is the reflection. You'll find the real life picture. Here you can see, you know, the, both the eyes on the upward side and, you know, the visual recalling, you find another picture. So this is actually reality, but what does it signify? Many people doesn't know if both the eyeballs are going upward in right direction, what does it mean? Many people doesn't know, actually, I'm sure more than 95% people doesn't know. Even you'll find that 
More than 90% people doesn't know what is the subject neuro-linguistic programming. But this is a life skill subject. If you know this subject, life will be much more easier actually. But you know, at the same time, you'll find that some people, this is uh, technically called lying eyes. You'll find that when talking with the people, neither their eyes are going left or right or top or bottom, you know. Actually, they have a little more, you know, special way of skill actually by controlling their, you know, feelings or something they don't allow to display. Uh, this is another skill actually. So these are called, you know, lying eyes. So you need to, you need to catch on the other features to identify the person at the time. Those who are very trained on this subject NLP, they can control up to a certain extent actually. And when I did this certification, that is a, you know, a test actually, like some people, whether you are really visual person or anesthetic or auditory person, you may, you know, mis misguide your trainer or somebody. So there is a machine, uh, what I say, equipment, that is a camera sort of things that will be fitted on your forehead and that will take focus on your eyes and you will be allowed to, you know, do uh, anything you like, say, uh, doing work, you're going somewhere, and automatically your eyes ball movement will be captured on the camera in you know visual or in a still mode then you know what is your actual nature preference whether it is a visual person whether it is an auditory person or a kinesthetic person that can be identified so this is a very very scientific subject very important subject subject is a life skill subject actually and as per the statistics you know 25% people in the whole world, including male and families, are auditory people, and 35% people are visual people, and 40% people in the whole world is a kinesthetic people. So I think by going to this presentation, now you are in a position to identify yourself, what is your natural preference sense, whether you are a visual person, whether you're a kinesthetic person, whether you're an auditory person, and that's not the end actually. What is your spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend? Whether there is a what is their category? What is your bosses in the offices or other people connected with you? If you can identify what is their category actually, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic, life will be much more easier for you. So if you find this presentation is interesting, you can share with your friends. And if you have not yet subscribed my other channel, you can subscribe my other channel. By clicking on this bell icon, you can get notification for my future presentation. Thank you so much for your attention.